Chris Seals from Quincy's Ashley Furniture Home Store joins us this morning to talk about a program not many people have heard of, but does great things. Yeah, it was started in 2010 by the corporate Ashley Furniture Home Store. And what happens is $5 from every bed sold in our local home store stays local to buy beds for children that don't have beds. Okay, and it's all. called A Hope to Dream. A Hope to Dream. Um, it's simple application. People can pick up the applications in the store or they can go online. They can even go through our Facebook page, um, you know, Ashley Furniture Home Store, Quincy, Illinois. And then they can fill out the application. It comes to me. I'm the one that gets to read all the applications and they're, they're pretty, um, pretty eye-opening. Sure. Here locally, how many requests or how many beds have you guys bought In the past kids? 18 months, we've given away over 30 beds. Just here in Quincy or is it No, we area? do Quincy. We've done um, outlying towns, Hannibal, Liberty. You know, this is not just for right here in town. We want to take care of, you know, all the families in our tri-states that, you know, they come into our store and take care of us. So we want to in turn, you know, go out and take care of them. Okay. We have some video that you supplied for us sure. that kind of explains the the whole campaign of Hope to Dream. Yeah. Overall, corporate wide, you guys have given away hundreds of beds, um, if not thousands. I think as of the end of 2013, it was almost 8,000. 8,000 beds. All right. Yes. So if, if you're a parent or a grandparent, aunt, uncle, friend of a family who needs a bed, they just need to come in and get the application from you? They can come in and get the application. Um, it's very short. Um, I'm usually the one making the phone calls to the parents uh, telling their telling them their child has received a bed. Those are some pretty moving phone calls. Sure. Pretty Do you get amazing. to go with them when they get the bed as well? And I have gone. I have kind of stayed in the background. I just kind of want to let it happen. It's pretty cool. Those kids, they not only receive a bed, they receive a new comforter set. So the room gets jazzed up a little bit, okay. too. And you just don't think about not having a bed. You think that's a pretty good staple. Right. There's kids on these applications. I've had kids that are sleeping on sofas, kids that are sleeping with parents, um, like four kids and the parents in a bed, um, kids that are sleeping on the floor. Wow. And so, and this is not somewhere else. This is right, right here. Right here at home. All and right. this is, you know, just, you know, so when someone does come in and purchase a bed, it goes towards something like this, which is, I'm very proud of. Real quickly, how, is there like a big waiting list? Well, actually, right now, I don't have a huge waiting list. You know, we're looking. We, it doesn't happen immediately. Mm -hmm. People need to understand that. We, it happens quarterly. We put the funds in, and, you know, I wish I could say you'd put the application in, and boom, we'll tomorrow get it to you, you tomorrow. Bet. But the way it works is we have to wait for it to go quarterly, and then we, you know, at the end of that quarter, I look at all my applications, and all the money that I have, I will put them towards that, you know, and I've actually had a family with, like, Four kids I was able to give beds to. Awesome. What so a that good was feeling. really cool. Chris, thanks so much for coming in this oh, morning. Oh, my pleasure. All right, we're going to scoot to break. We'll be right back after this. It's 648.